Data integrity continues to be a hot topic impacting the pharma biotech industry, and the trend has been growing since 2010. In 2016, the FDA, MHRA, PICS, and WHO published new guidance documents, yet companies continue to struggle with data integrity issues. At NSF, we've been doing a lot of research to see exactly where companies were struggling most. A review of regulatory enforcement actions revealed that 150 data integrity warning letters were issued from January 2005 to May 2017. We grouped these data integrity findings into common themes and ranked them by occurrence. Topping the list is incomplete or missing records, which was cited in 67% of all data integrity warning letters. In these instances, the quality unit is making batch disposition decisions based on incomplete or missing records. Second on the list at 35% are access control deficiencies. This includes shared login accounts and users having inappropriate privilege levels, such as administrator rights. At number three, we have a tie between unofficial test injections and testing into compliance. These make up 26% of the findings. Next is deleting or destroying original GMP records, accounting for 23% of all findings. Items cited here include analysts deleting data on electronic systems and official records being found in the trash. Rounding out the top five, we have audit trail deficiencies at 21%. Audit trail issues run the gamut from audit trails being disabled by users, systems not having audit trail capabilities, to audit trails not being reviewed. Data integrity findings are taken very seriously by the FDA as they erode the trust between the FDA and the company. Breaches of this trust result in FDA 43s, warning letters, import alerts, injunctions, and in severe cases, FDA invoking application integrity policy. Companies should evaluate data integrity holistically and consider the entire data lifecycle when thinking about data governance. Secondly, companies should take a risk-based approach to addressing data integrity concerns, factoring in data criticality and data risk. The level of effort it takes to mitigate data integrity gaps should be commensurate with the risk they present. I have seen many companies move along the data integrity maturity curve from initial awareness to basic understanding and ultimately to implementation of data governance systems. Numerous clients are struggling with implementation of data integrity concepts. And I am often asked questions such as, do I need to review audit trails? How often do I need to review them? And what in particular should I be looking at? We have helped many clients answer these questions and implement simple yet compliant solutions. If you feel that your company can use some help with implementation of data integrity controls, reach out to us. We look forward to a conversation on how we can meet your needs.